Statistics and Excel. Bell curve batting average comparison. Get ready, taking a deep breath, holding it in for 10 seconds, looking forward to a smooth, soothing Excel. Here we are in Excel. If you don't have access to this workbook, that's okay because we'll basically build this from a blank worksheet. But if you do have access, currently five tabs down below, the two example tabs in essence answer keys, the two practice tabs having pre-formatted cells so you can get to the heart of the practice problem, the blank tab, blank worksheet so we can practice formatting cells within Excel as we work through the practice problem. Let's go to the example tabs to get an idea of what we will be doing, starting with the data tab, where we will be pulling baseball statistics information in from an online resource, building them into a table so that we can sort and filter the table, pulling what we want from the table, in this case, batting averages, and putting them into a separate tab so we can focus just on those items that we want. We'll do some of our standard statistical calculations, the mean, the standard deviation, the median, comparing two years of batting average information. Probably won't be doing 2020. I think we'll do 2022 and then uh, 1920. And then if it conforms to a bell curve distribution as we expect it would, then we'll do some of our graphing of the bell curves, plotting the relative uh, bell curve information and since we have two sets of data this is what's different in part from some practice problems we've done in the past one being we're taking the data from an online resource and filtering it and two that we have this comparative information that we can look at the differences uh, and analyze a uh, comparative information and make some charts from that comparative information all right let's go to the blank tab over here and we're going to start by pulling our information in from an online resource. So I just looked up uh, statistics, baseball statistics for 1920, and I found a website which is Baseball Reference. And I'm going to scroll down and say, I don't want the team standard batting. What I want is the player uh, standard batting. So a player standard batting. And then over here, uh, it says that we can download this. Where did it go? Ah, here it is. Now, I'd like to download it as an, uh, an Excel worksheet, but it only gives me like 500 lines. So I, it's going to give me all the data if I convert it to a CSV file, which is often the case. We have to convert from a CSV. So I'm going to say, give me the CSV file. It looks kind of weird because it's just comma delimited information, as we saw way back when we were just practicing uploading data. What I can do is copy this whole thing, though. I can say, I'm just going to copy this because all the data is there. And then I'm going to convert it from a comma delimited data set to a table. So I'm going to just copy all of that. Control C and go to my worksheet. I'm going to put that in A1, right click and just paste it. I'll paste it. Uh, can I paste it? Does it matter which way I paste it? I don't think so. Match, keep source. Let's match it. And then I'm going to make it a little bit smaller here so we can see what's going on. Now, it's, it's separated by commas now. So what I want to do now is go to my data up top. I'm going into the data tab. And then we're going into the group of data tools. And then we're going to go into text to columns. Well, this notice that only column A is highlighted, even though the data is kind of spilling out over the other. All the data is in column A. So I'm going to select the text two columns, and then it's delimited here, characters such as commas. So that looks correct. So I'm going to say next. And I don't want the tab to be the delimiting factor. I instead want the comma. And you can see it changes the data down here to more of a table type format. So I'm going to say, all right, next, that looks good. And I think that's good. So I'm going to say, let's finish it, finish it. So there we have it. So now we've got our data broken out here. We've got more than the stuff that we need because we really just want batting averages. I'm going to make the top part of it bold. Home tab, font group. Let's embolden it so that the system knows I want to create a table from it when I insert a table and I can see that that will be the header. Then I'm going to go to the insert. I'm just going to select one cell in here. Be careful with this table though because there's some blank spots. There's some unfilled areas 
which can throw off the table. So let's see if I can insert the table, if it'll pick up the entire range, insert tables group, insert a table. Now it's, let's go all the way down and say, does it pick everything up? Is it doing what it's, are the dancing ants doing the whole lapping the entire place or, or not? So it looks good. So I'm going to say, okay, table has been inserted. So we're going to mainly just focus on, in this case, the batting averages. So we're going to go over here to the batting averages. But uh, first, let's, uh, let's add another set of data. I'm not going to add the data to the right this time. I'm going to add it below because I might filter the data. Now, it might even be better to put the second data on a whole nother worksheet. But I'd rather put it, but I want to keep just one other worksheet. So I'm going to put it below instead of next to. So I'm going to say control shift down. Oh, that's not down. Control shift down to get to the bottom of the table. I'm going to put the second data set right here. So I've done a similar search for 2022. Same thing, baseball references. So not the team, but I want by player. So here are the players. So that looks good. The, the standard uh, batting. Here's the drop down. I'm going to convert it to CSV files. There they are. And then I'm going to pick up all of this data in the comma delimited format. All of this great information that we can work with and do comparisons about and, and talk about who's the best and who's the worst and like who's in between, not even worth talking about because they're like in the middle. You've got to be either good or bad if you want people to be talking about you. Maybe it's better not to have people talking about you anyways. I don't know. But I'm going to paste that here. 